Hey, 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 this is Kurt the Bone Doctor. Got interrupted again. Doctor's always on call. That was an emergency. Uh, anyway, we're back into this here. Uh, get get off of that. I got all your settings right here. This is your uh, radar with overlay. Then you can do a dual uh, three quarters and a quarter mile out. So you can look out and in. So you can see some close and far out. The old one, three quarters, if it was, you couldn't see it on the head of you. Now you can on that. And then I made a combo uh, like sonars are right here with a magnifier that you can move. Woo, look at that, 41 feet. Yeah, kinda like that baseball. And then you, of course, you got your down, a clear view, and then you can cross it right there. There it is. And then you got your side view, which you can go like here. And there they are over on the left side. There's nothing there, it's right there. So then you know to fish on the left side of the boat. Then you go to combos. I set you up a nice combo page here with the, your, uh, numbers uh your uh, uh autopilot radar overlay and sonar right there okay so the live well i turned that on you got power but nothing's going on back there like i say courtesy lights are those ones back there cab lights are those i'm going to leave those on nav lights fan defrost i've got it on uh, right now i got it on heat so i'm going to bump this one notch just go slow but it's not a lot of heat it's just electric kind of okay so, then these are your trim tabs, VHF, we'll turn that on. Now this doesn't have AIS capability. I don't think you wanted that anyway, but if you did, it won't do it because you have to go to a 215S or a C model. Okay, but it does have your latitude and longitude up here, DSC, it's got that. Uh, if you want to go to weather, you just push this button here, go to miles an hour. Push that back. If you want to scan, hit that, hit this button here, and it scans for you. And again, the wipers, one up, one, two down, get some all, horn works. Nice seats. And then you can steer back here if you like. You got your gauge back here as well, your autopilot gauge. Turn this on here. Uh, so then, boom, what I can do there is go home. I can go into uh, hooks, combos, and then I can set you up a combo menu, add combo. Uh, I want to do overlay, woo, back. Better turn this and watch where I'm going. I'm gonna do the layout and I'm gonna do a. Huh, layout. Uh, they only let you do three. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. What we can do is here, we can uh, tap to add. We can do charge. We wanna do radar overlay. And then we're gonna uh, range B. We wanna tap again. We wanna go. Uh, Gauges, vessel, tap again. We'll go to charge, whoop, back, sonar, traditional, and then hit done. And there you go. Now, if you want your, uh, like, say, there, add a combo, overlays, I can go uh, data, sidebar, then I hit to top bar, I can put, whoop, damn, didn't want to do that. Go back, data, sidebar, back, up, top bar, autopilot bar, back, done. See, now that gives me my autopilot back there. So now what I can do is trim this one down. I can leave this one running for right now, that's okay. Then just steer this where I want it to go. Then if it's cold, you gotta pump it three times. Lift this lever until it stops and give it a half inch push and turn when it's if it's going to die, push in on the key, let go until the RPM comes up. Once it's warm, though, you can just turn the key. So now what I can do is just get it going like that. So while I'm showing you this, I could actually just hit engage right now. Now it's on the autopilot. You can see it working right there. And then if I wanted to change this and I didn't want my fish finder, I can just hit here, menu. Uh, sonar staff, F, back. Okay, so now the autopilot is engaged. You can see heading hold. You can see right here at 84, I want to go 10 degrees over. I go to 74, because 67 is going to take me underneath that bridge. 63 to 67 uh, miles an hour. So this does your GPS. I mean your autopilot as well as this up here. So. Uh, say I wanted that autopilot to come up. I can just hit that button right here. Let's go back Hit this button right here, and it's a full screen 
So now if I want to go a degree over, there's 75 degrees, back over, that goes 10 degrees, 10 degrees. And then if I want to engage a circle, I can do hit, hit this, and then it's going to take me a one mile circle. I can adjust that time. And then I can uh, engage starboard. Now it's going to take me the other way. I can do U-turns, I can do zigzags. And then if I, once I find my spot where I want to be, I'm going to look at my compass. Uh, and gauge heading hope. And see where I'm lined up at. Right here. Okay, and then you go like that and it brings you right back to where you were. So I'm at 72 degrees, 72. So that's about, I'm going to leave it at about 70. 69 70 this is like you say on autopilot uh worse downwards uh that one switch over there fish box that takes it out of here there's your light on there this light here is right here boom tachometer gas reads bhf is working okay move this over here Light this thing up here. Toilet. And you lift this up. Lift this up. And then right here puts water in. This here puts water in and holds it. And this here dumps out water. And this you take out so you can sit in it. And actually, the way they tilt it, and then you can look out here and make sure you're not hitting anything. Oh, and here's another good thing. Say you're up there, right? And you're looking out that window, right? You can take this one right here. Just take this right here, get it. Until it power, there you go, it powers up. So you could be in here, sitting down, looking out the side windows. Oh, where in the heck am I? And then you hit the menu button. See how it says heading hold? And I say, wow, I'm gonna hit up over there. I better go over about a couple degrees that's going to be 10 degrees so I want to go back now I want to go a couple more degrees this is a couple more degrees right there about 66 takes me right underneath the bridge so all those lights are going let's go back here I was going to show you something and I'll be dang sliders very nice and I can look up there yes I'm doing good and I'll be damned huh oh that's what I was gonna show you anyway so you can kick this back here you don't have to have this one going you can shut that one off if you like turn this one off so now we're on heading hole but we need speed So I should be able to hit this. There. See how it's picking it up? Just by doing that. So I could be up there and I could steer, speed it up, slow it down, move up with this remote. And zigzags, U-turns, and uh, follow route is on here. One, two, and three. Uh, as well as I can adjust the speed. See how that green slid up there? See how I can lower the speed? From there, I can do it from up here too. If I wanted to go home, AVG Helms, go to autopilot, right here, see where the speed is. I can adjust it there or up front. And then here's another nice thing. If you look at this, I'm, I wanna go over that way. See this button right here? You sometimes have to go like this, pull it up, move, turn. See how it turned it? It's gonna point us over that way. So point and shoot. So now I want to go back the other way. Okay, right there. Now I want to go back over there. I go over here, hit it this way. See how it's going to take me over this way? So you don't have to go 10, 10, 10. You can just point whatever way you want to go. Okay. And then if you don't want to use this, you can just shut the hold that. Shuts it off. Put it back where it belongs. 
Now auto guidance is kind of cool too. Uh, say I want just that screen there, and then I pop up on it, and then I want to scam out here. Where do I want to go? I want to go back to the dock right there, right? Then I can go auto guidance. There it goes, start navigating. And it's gonna say, do you want your engage, your autopilot? Yep, engage. There, now it's gonna take me on the route right there. And it's gonna take me right up the channel. And take me right back to where I was. Now it's gonna turn me. So I'm gonna turn all this stuff off. I'm gonna leave the fan on and see it's turning so then if you want to stop navigating all you have to do is you can take this and that puts you back to where you were at hit this again whoop oh hit this back and there you go then if you want to stop navigating all you have to do is hit that right there standby and just kill the throttle and put that on can standby now what I can do look at your gauge fire this up I can give this a 